Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, we're gonna be reviewing a Machinist Square and it's gonna be this iSpace Kinex uh, measuring square. And so let's go ahead and um, unbox this thing. Made in Slovenia, cool. So we'll go ahead and look at this thing. We get this cool um, certificate tag and it's just a certificate of inspection. You get like this nice cool uh, signature there. So that's nice. And uh, you can see right here, I went ahead and cleaned this up, but it comes with like a layer of just, um, you know, anti-rust oil. And, uh, but you get this nice foam case, which is really cool. And so this particular model, I believe um, the 875 is supposed to be accurate within um, a few thousandths of an inch so it's it's pretty accurate um, and it definitely meets my needs one of the and this this is gonna be the 4 by 6 so this is the 4 by 6 size which I think is the best size um, for a, a most applications I know that they make a smaller size but I think the 4 by 6 is definitely the the better the better size and um, the one cool thing that where this really shines is if you bought a Harbor Freight metal cutting bandsaw and you need to calibrate the blade, um, then that's where this thing really comes in handy. And so um, what you can do is you can just line this up to the blade and then square it to your fence and then you can really dial in your blade and get some square cuts. And I will actually use this to check other um, things to see if they're square. So if you saw my video on the aluminum leveler by Harbor Freight, then you'll know I use this to check to make sure that the leveler was square. So um, I highly recommend this tool. It's super cool. I'll definitely put a link in the description below where you can get this. Um, build quality is super nice. Um, here you can see like... I think there's the the corner right here is a little kind of rounded, but really this is the the most important part. Like um, right here, if you can measure, if this as long as this is smooth and sharp, then uh, that's that's cool. So this is this is uh, definitely one of these tools that you should have in your toolbox. I highly recommend it. So you know, but once again, I'm not a machinist. Uh, I'm just, you know, the garage guy that likes tools and I like to use the right tools or the best tools that I think um, are good for the job without breaking the bank. So this tool is definitely that tool. I think uh, it's under $20 and for under $20 to get something this precise and nice is definitely worth having in your garage and your toolbox. So um, that's my recommendation. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.